Hello. That's pretty solid. Oh, that's, that was a bad idea. It's like Christmas. All right. Costco Camping 101. Nearly $1,000 worth of products from our beloved Costco. Let's go through these, see if it's worth it. I'll uh, just maybe do some elimination, process elimination. This Coho cooler measures at 52 liters, 55 quarts, 24 inches long. This is actually really good. It fits right in the back of the Jeep, which is awesome. Sometimes uh, some of the coolers that we have have wheels and they don't quite fit. I will say the quality of this is great. It's similar to a Yeti, but obviously at a hundred bucks, it's a fantastic price for something like this. Decent locking me mechanism. I think until we try it and like actually put some stuff in it, we can't give you a definitive like thumbs up or thumbs down, but I will say I'm very impressed by this. Uh, oh, this is a big one. Check this out. How many of you have lost the little cap at the end of it? That's like stainless steel uh, bearing on there and you could even unscrew this whole thing. I don't know but that's actually a big plus. Handles are great. I think this thing is pretty good. Can you stand on it? It's pretty durable. All right, now I got footprints all over it, but um, let's give it seven, seven out of 10 thumbs up. Seven out of 10. All right, we're just gonna go through these one by one. First off, the Alf, Alp Trek, Alp Trek, little fleece. <laughs> Waterproof blanket. I think we need to see if this is waterproof or not. Ooh, definitely nice and comfy. Not really something that you need right now. It's starting to get a little warm in San Diego. Who's sitting out in the rain with a blanket? No, you can just throw it at me. Let's see if it's waterproof. That was a bad throw. That was the worst. I got more, I got more. Jeez. <laughs> what if an intruder is coming at you and he's gonna about, about to splash you with water? Perfectly dry. Seven out of 10 thumbs up. Although now the fleece part, <laughs> the fleece part is like completely soaked. <laughs> so, cause I dropped it, but you know what? Now you just use that. I, why do you need a waterproof blanket? I still don't get that. I, I changed my mind. Four out of 10 thumbs up. All right, next up. So this one is not in the camping category, but I thought it could be uh, something that you could take to camp to set things up. The one thing that I don't really like is the runtime is only two hours if you have it on high. Uh, nine hours if you have it on low, which depending on the setting, now our entire table is all, all wet. All right, so we got this 2000 lumen rechargeable LED work light with tripod. Now I like the size of it. I wish it would go higher for camping, but for a work light, see the mechanics over there eyeing this thing. Uh, let's see how high it goes up. And that's it, that's as high as it goes. Who wants a four foot light? Uh, that's pretty bright. When you're at camp, you're probably just gonna have it on low. The issue is, if you have this at camp, you know what, I'm not, I don't hate that. Because if it's too high, it kind of gets in your eyes. But if you have this like right, like maybe you put one down or like you angle it, depending on what you're doing, like cooking and whatnot. That's actually kind of legit, but I mean, rechargeable, not bad. USB-C. Solid craftsmanship. inch. Oh, I broke it. I broke it. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. One out of 10 stars. I had promise. We're not only testing whether or not these are good, like cool products that you could use. Camping is rough. You're off-roading, throwing things around. A little bump on the ground and it snaps into two pieces. Good for work light, not good for overlanding. All right, I'm excited about this one. Alum aluminum folding table. I need a knife. Table time. I need to get rid of this table and just use this one. I'm excited about this one. The table that we have right now was one of the first things that we bought in the history of Forge 4x4, and I love it. Mountain Summit gear, awesome table, $130 from REI. This was half of that. And 
based on the model that I saw, uh, looked really rad. All right, so you got, that's a tabletop. And compared to the other one that we have, I do like these connections. They're kind of plastic though. So I don't know about that durability test. All right, the stand, What I, I mean, look at this. This is a decent sized table that collapses into maybe four inches by six inches, something like that. Oh, that's cool. If your product has to have instructions to set up, stupid product. You heard it here first. Okay, we got the tabletop here, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. That's in, and then the other side just kind of snaps down. Look at that. That is, that's pretty solid. And obviously if you want a coffee table out there, just a little, some for the kiddos, you got that, but these little, uh oh, Shh. oh boy, oh boy. And then those go down, oh nice. Telescopic legs. Durability test. Pretty good. Got a couple little scuffs right there. I think we need a diesel. Let's fight. <laughs> For the record, it did not fail. The telescopic leg just could not support 235 pounds of solid muscle. So that, you know, what? I'm gonna chalk that up as durability tests passed. All right, next up, everyone, everyone loves a good flashlight. Oh, look at that bulb. Wow. Oh. So it comes, oh jeez. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa. So it comes with a rechargeable battery, USB-C rechargeable. Make sure you take off that little thing. It'll actually work. Same thing with our flashlights that we saw at Ford4x4.com. But this thing is 3,000 high lumens. What's the difference between a high lumen and a low lumen? Sounds like someone in the marketing department was having a little fun, a little liberty. So, phone. 3,000 high lumens, so high. All right, well, oh gee, that is right. Oh my God. All right, I don't know if I would spend that much money. I think it was like 50 bucks on a flashlight, but. I, I like that it's, it comes with a rechargeable battery or regular batteries, so that's a big plus. I can't see anything right now. Six out of 10 thumbs up. All right, next up. This is one of my favorite chairs. Uh, we have two of these already from last year's model, and this one has a little cup holder. Uh, what I like about these chairs is they're lightweight, easy to carry, easy to set up, and pretty durable. Come in a little package, have four of those for the whole family. And let's do a quick little time lapse of me putting this together. There you go. Boom. Ooh, the arch support seems pretty good. Durability. I don't know if this plastic table is gonna hold me. Oh, this is not safe. That is nice, that is nice. Got a cup holder right here. Um, I like the way that this feels. Oh, that's a little low. I feel like the other one was higher. I don't really like that. I'm a little bit bigger, so you smaller humans will probably be fine. We're not testing the durability of our plastic table, but. I mean, this thing pre feels pretty. I mean, that's a 230 pounds of just Solid muscle one. <laughs> We've had these in the past and they hold up pretty well. Um, from a durability standpoint, I'm pretty happy. All right, uh, eight out of 10. We love these chairs, Cascade, Mountain Tech. Um, get them at Costco. Thanks. For the price point too, those are awesome. We're gonna keep that one for sure. All right, next up. So this one was interesting to me, the Cascade Mountain Tech collapsible <laughs> bench um, because I like how small it is, and you could have numerous seating around a campfire where you don't have to do a full chair. Mmm, not liking the way this is starting out though. What is this?
I do like that, that's satisfying. A little baby cot. Durability test. That's, that's satisfying though. Check this out. And then it cinches down. That click is nice. Nice. All right. You wanna come on down, Jeff? Come on. I ain't gonna bite ya. That's pretty good. <laughs> what in, what I'm kind so of material? You can't even do a little, little drop? I'm offended. One out of five stars. Or what are we doing, thumbs up, one out of 10. It's now a shade, nice shade tree. I like the idea of it, but no, not, not going on my camp. All right, this one looks pretty cool, but already it's a little too big. We got a hammock, swinging hammock chair. What if we put the hammock chair in the hammock? That's really it? Wow. Wow. Okay, okay, hammock chair. I'm not gonna put you up there because I'm afraid for my life. So, right here. Uh, it feels, I feel very, very sloven, very sloth-like. It's like, it's definitely very hammock-like, but what if you, wanna, if you wanna sit up, it's kinda weird. Oh, you could, you could adjust. Yeah, that's comfy. <laughs> um, simple design, high quality material. I think this would pass the durability test. Nope, broke right away. One little fall, that's it? Come on guys, we gotta do better than that. That wasn't even that, that bad. <laughs> what is happening? So I'm going on a diet after this. Um, that, I mean, if you're like having some fun, having a couple, couple cold ones with the boys, hey, let's go. And then it just breaks, first time you take it out. What is that? All right, uh, durability test obviously failed. This is ripping on both sides, this pole's coming out. It is comfy if you're not an uh, oversized gorilla um, like myself. Nice product, just don't use it like a Neanderthal. Next up, All right, I've never set up a hammock, bef hammock before in my life. This is a dual hammock too, Jeff. <laughs> Come on. It's Double time. Did we break everything today? It's perfect. All right. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Come on in, Jeff. Jeff, the water's fine. I've only been in a hammock like three times in my whole life, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how to evaluate a hammock for 20 bucks, I feel like this is a great deal. A lot of extra room, put the whole family in there, just make sure you're secured. So this is a Blackstone 22 inch griddle. Right away for actual camping, I will say this thing is heavy. And when I was taking it down from the display at Costco, I definitely took a header on the display uh, top, but. Uh, these things are red. You can make some smash burgers. You could use this as a grill at home and for just over a hundred bucks, it's not too shabby. That is nice. I mean, it's definitely heavy. It's like 45 pounds, but look at the cooktop that you have. So this goes on the back, just a little oil catch. That's pretty sweet. 22 inch tabletop griddle. Great for big groups, but I don't know if it's super functional for just like little weekend camping trips. All right, you guys know what happens at Costco. Every couple weeks they switch up the lineup. So if you like anything that you see here, go there. We paid for all of this. We are not sponsored or endorsed by Costco. They don't do that, we've tried. But if you wanna win this Jeep Rubicon 392 and that Dewdrop Alpha trailer behind me, simply go to forge4x4.com, hit that subscribe button. If you like videos like this, it'll get us motivated to create more and let you know what is up in the world of camping, overlanding, and the great outdoors. Thanks for watching everyone. Um, I gotta go ice my back and put some stuff back together, but.